Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 21. Alright, the previous episode we had a little backstory of Chocolove. Um, we got to know where, like you know, his, like, the, the past he had, how he got his power and at the same time what is his, like you know, main convictions, the main source of his determination. Uh, the old guy who taught him everything you know what he wanted he did not want Choco Love to uh, like you know to give himself off to violence and to uh, like he wanted him to make everyone laugh because laughter is uh, wind and like that's why because of that even when he was dying he told Choco Love that do not do not give in to your anger so and you know like the people who actually like it was really like i was not really expecting that like the people who actually killed uh, the old man they like they changed themselves and that was something that i that's that's probably the i think the biggest like you know it's, it's probably like an overlooked part but for me that scene when we suddenly see that those guys are like in the audience seat cheering for chocolate that's like one of the most underrated scenes in my opinion because that shows that what the old man like you know died for and what Chokolov like you know did he did not like, he did not go through the violence route that that changed people not one but so many of them and like that's that's really like you know it's, it's a really great scene and it was a great episode and by the end of it we also see that chocolate really does not kind of like you know go and uh, attack them but ren takes over and he destroys them with like you know his uh, strength and ren's strength is immense as far as we can understand he went through i'm, I'm sure he went through a lot of training and stuff and he <laughs> like even even how was like okay like yeah like he is strong so i'm sure like you know when anna told that to yo i'm sure or yo was like yeah it will be fine i'll look like you know I'll, I'll take care of it later on so i'm sure yo also have something kind of tricks up his sleeves we'll i'm sure we'll see that in the future episodes so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 21 of shaman king i'll be putting the titles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's a countdown three Two, one, go. <laughs> Mrs. Joke. Oh, yeah, the okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the boss. Why is it here? <laughs> yeah, they would have Wait, what? Wait. Well, I yeah, we. Oh. So they don't have particular loyalty towards. Or maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> Skip the details. <laughs> oh my god so all right hmm yeah okay uh so okay just i'll talk about it later yeah <laughs> oh what okay 
<laughs> they're wearing normal glasses now. <laughs> Bozu. Okay, Bozu. Whoa. Oh no. Oh my god, his hair again. What? Oh no. How is he even going to fight against him? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. Uh, one thing I was saying. I'm quite surprised that... Um, you know what? Like, the thing that I'm surprised about is how actually allowed them to leave. But I guess he never really did force anyone. Like, as far as I can see, that he kind of convinced everyone. You know, so he, he never really said that, yeah, come with me or else I'll kill you or something like that. I never saw something like that. So I'm guessing he's like, yeah, you guys will be good. Come with me. And if they're like, no, I don't want to work with you. I don't want to, like, you know, I want to go on my own way. He's probably like, okay, yeah, do on, do whatever you want to. So that's why I'm sh I think, like, he never really stopped them for leaving. And that's why the bows can go away. So that really shows that the all the teammates of how it's probably with him for their own reasons and for on their own violation. Like no one's forcing them or something like. Yeah, and they can just I'm guessing leave if they want to. Yeah, OK. All right. Okay, <laughs> let's fight Lyserk. <laughs> Lyserk. Iron Maiden Jan. X1. Okay. Yeah. Wait, really? Oh, so that's the third... Third member? Okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh god, they're trash talking. That's mean that means they'll lose very quickly. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested. Let's fight. Oh, it's a lady. You know what? I think I know who the girl is. Is it that is this the girl who we see in the ending? I think so. Yeah, it must be. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Okay. <laughs> how is how is the Iron Maiden moving? <laughs> Okay. Whoa! Oh my god. <coughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's it.
Okay, no, this is a little bit. No, why are you trying to kill them then? What the hell? Oh, he's not. How are the villains? They're just a little bit cocky. That's just it. And you're doing the same thing to them. Like, what type of sense of justice is that? Great. Yeah, I'm sure, like, this is like a brainwashing thing. I, I don't know. Like... Like the way he's looking at everyone. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It just chose the option. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew like this. Yeah. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, true. I don't know. I, I, I think I'm I'm with Ren this time. But I can kind of understand what Yo is where Yo is coming. Yo is like this, like we know him. So <laughs> Wow! Oh my god. Great. Uh, the <laughs> the windows. What? Why? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's what he's... <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah. True, ex like ex exactly, that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, right, we can see that. What? Um Yeah Whoa, what's happening? Oh 
Oh, damn. What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? That shall come. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. All right. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so he was kind of like a, in a trance. Oh no. Oh, I thought he himself stopped it. No, he got affected by it. Oh, his spirit. Well, obviously, like. Ah, oh, God. Whoa, whoa. What? Uh. Oh god. Wow, now they're saying that they need to control the What? Oh, God. Wow, this... This woman inside... She... Wow, okay. What the hell is this? Gravity power or something? Or... Oh... Is he coming out? Is she coming out? <laughs> Stand me up! <laughs> oh, she has, he has a key! I'm sure it's that girl from the ending. I think so. Let's see. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's bleeding and everything. Damn. Yeah, but so you're she, she's a criminal. The victims would either confess out of fear. Hmm. Yeah.
Oh God. Power to save the world. Um. What? People are... Oh god. Yeah, I wonder what her power is. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, this guy is... Uh... Okay. Oh, this thing, Shamas. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. The God of Justice. Oh, God of Justice. I need to check that out. They did not translate it at all. The okay, I'll, I'll check that out again later on. Okay, it also healed her. Hmm. <laughs> then the world is doomed. <laughs> In a way, you know. I'm sure he, she, she'll be okay. I'll talk about it later on. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god, these guys are also going <sighs> to <coughs> okay. Oh no. So what happens if they say that yeah I understood that I'm a sinner? Like will he she let them go? Oh boy. Oh no. Uh. 
All right, great. Ah. Oh my god, Manta. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, did. Hmm. Yeah. They're not showing yours. They're not showing yours. Okay, there she is. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best option <laughs> as far as we can see. Like, <laughs> like true. Like, what will happen if this girl becomes a, a like shaman king? Like, oh my god. Like, in a way, like thinking about it, like if everyone like you know like listens to her and everyone does everything that she says. In a way, it can be good, you know, like and like no like crimes will happen, but that in itself is a uh, uh, what can I say? It's a very weird way of living. It really it will be as if you're living uh, not according to your own will, but because of like someone else told you to live. If someone told you that yeah, you'll have to die. If if uh, like you know, John said that yeah, you did this thing, so you'll have to die. You'll have to die, and it will be some kind of a like weird type of a thing you know where there'll be like only one person is in power and like whatever they say will be the law be it like correct or incorrect all that stuff so if you listen to her she'll be the greatest leader that can ever be but if if someone like brings some kind of a, a counter argument or something it's over so that'll be her if she becomes the shaman king like like she basically she'll become the god you know like the like she herself is saying that i am like you know like uh i listen to the god and all she herself will become a god of all the people and if how becomes the shaman king i'm i'm still not able to pinpoint what he actually wants to do you know like they, they never mentioned it in a way like she it's just that she he wants to become the shaman king he wants to he, that's why he's like you know gathering the spirits and all so we still don't know what his actual uh, main ambition is, which I'm sure we're going to get to know in the future. But still, it won't be good if he also becomes a shaman king. I think so, at least. So, like, yeah, like, that's that. Now, one thing that I am thinking about is, uh, like, okay, so this girl, uh, Jan, just a sec. Is she like, uh, uh, I don't know, is, is she like is supposed to be like the Jandi arc? Like she, you know, she's like praying to the god and everything. And, um, you know, I think so, isn't it? Like, it's like, uh, kind of like, a, I don't know, I might be wrong though. But, yeah, now, as soon as I heard her voice from inside the Iron Maiden, I knew it. I knew that it, it, this would be like, um, that girl from the ending because we've been seeing this ending for so long and we never really did see this girl in the show so i was kind of wondering like they're showing this girl in the ending and there's like we've never seen this girl before like what's happening and then suddenly we hear her voice here and i'm like okay so this must be that girl so, <laughs> all right okay so okay let's talk about this like uh, sequentially back like you know one after the other the first thing uh, that we see is the boss they they left the uh, team house team and they want to do something on their own now now this is something that i said before uh, is that i'm i was quite surprised that they actually did leave, let them leave but as i said like you know i've never seen uh, how actually like force someone to like, you know be on his team or to help him like he just like invited them and they were like okay i'll, I'll join you and they themselves have a lot of loyalty for how that's because of like you know uh, his own um what do you call it uh, his own charisma like he was able to make them follow him 
and their loyalty is not something that is has been uh, forcefully like you know they are getting forcefully like how's getting forcefully it's all natural so that's why I, I think maybe uh, that's why like when they said that yeah we want to leave and do stuff on their own how I, I think how did not like object he probably was like okay like you do your thing so most probably I think so so yeah okay so that was that and they you know left the team and they want to do something on their own now that's good and because they basically <laughs> as they said they basically got into this team because like how came and said that will you join us and he they were like yeah i'll, I'll join you <laughs> and now they realize that the music that they make they'll have to heal they'll have to do it on their own not taking any other like you know as a team so yeah they changed their group's name they changed their outfits and everything <laughs> and they are now the bozu so all right like okay that was that and then that comes the next part of the uh episode lyserk and um the x-laws now okay so lyserk here i don't know like it, it seems as if he's he's been kind of like you know manipulated brainwashed in a way like his blank eyes kind of indicate that most probably and you know like uh, i'm sure they never like really did force him they were probably just so convincing to him that he himself thinks that yeah whatever the x-laws are doing is actually correct you know if i follow them i'll be able to take my revenge and get true justice or something like that he's thinking so <clears throat> yeah okay so now uh we can see that he's quite strong like you know riser become quite strong here but his guardian spirit like it actually stopped before it hit now i was kind of wondering about this like like what does like he has changed like this what does his spirit think about it you know because they are like different they're like as we see amida maru has her his own personality like his uh, individual like uh, entity and yo has his own personality and like same with make uh like you know tokagero all of them like they have like different uh uh you know like personality they have their own convictions and things morals so i was thinking what uh morphine that was her name i think yeah morphine things and she, we really did get our answer she stopped before actually uh, like you know killing the guy now this like this probably shows that as they said like he doesn't have conviction enough now we've seen this before that like the amount of strength and everything is determined by the determination the shaman has if someone is doubtful about something it won't work you know so like i'm sure like lyser himself had a little bit of a thing in his heart and uh, you know a bit of a confusion a bit of a uh, what can i say like hesitant being a little bit hesitant about this so i'm sure he himself <coughs> was also his determination was also the reason why morphine stopped there so that's one thing and another thing that kind of indicates that um, uh, lysak had a little bit of hesitation not hesitation but he he was kind of thinking about yo and all of them is when he comes here the first thing like he he's kind of like monologuing when he was like he mentions yo he's like i'm sorry yo like you know like i won't be able to like you know go along with your like you know become a friend like you know like do things your way like if he really had like you know shut down all of his previous feelings and like didn't really care about yo and all the others he wouldn't say that at that moment because he's thinking about yo at that moment that kind of indicates that he still has a hesit tent like you know uh, hesitancy is that a word yeah <laughs> going around in his heart so yeah and, and that and also i'm sure morphine herself was not like you know not on board with this like yeah like i don't know so both of those things like morphine's her own like you know will and obviously lysex hesitation probably made them made the attack stop and you know like did not kill him now uh, another thing that i was kind of saying here before is like i am very much familiar with yo's personality now like you know but still like he is so trusting and so what can i say like 
uh, what can, uh, yeah trusting trusting is the word and like it's sometimes like i sometimes kind of agree with Ren <laughs> in a few moments because in, in this is scene where we see like ren was saying that if it's too late then you won't be able to do anything i was 100 percent like you know with ren at that moment like it's good that yo is so like you know forgiving and everything but as ren said like if it, it might be too late sometimes so but uh, he like you know like as i said like you know i'm very much familiar with yo now and i know how he does his things and how much of trust he has on all the characters and it was it's rightfully so because as we see in the next scene that lysik really did stop and you know he did not kill him uh, kill the person but now the thing here is that's what happened now in this stage i i'm not so sure how this will go in the future if like you know like if lysak stays with these ex laws for a couple of more days because they're going to continue like you know feeding him like weird stuff brainwashing him in a way and that's why i don't know like now he was still able to keep himself uh, like you know his own determination strong but in the future i don't know like you know like in the future like the thing that ren said you know like it might be too late that might come true you know so but i don't know you know yo believes in lyserk so i'll also believe in him for the time being because you know like uh who knows maybe lyserk himself will be able to break out of this thing so yeah we'll just have to wait for that <clears throat> all right okay that's that and then we meet the lady jun and okay now she this is an interesting character here I don't know like I, I i think like the, the the thing that she was saying that uh do you like you know repent now I, like one thing i'm really confused about why the hell did they even punish them like the knives i think that was their name like because they're arrogant was that the sin or, like like they like they they're not criminals they are not bad people they're just com uh, contestants that has come in this tournament to fight the shaman uh fight so where does this sin even come from like what are they even talking about like like john started talking about like you know punishment and sin but i don't get it like what what the hell were, were their sin in the first place that they were arrogant was that the sin like yeah like she is <laughs> she's, she's kind of um uh a little bit i don't know what's the correct adjective to <laughs> mention like refer to her uh, i'm not so sure like she's like I, I was going to call her crazy but she doesn't seem like that <laughs> you know <laughs> like she she is quiet like you know like she she, she thinks about stuff properly and I'm sure everything that she's doing is not because of some momentary craziness. She herself believes in this. And to some extent, whatever she's saying is correct, but she takes it to the like extreme. Like, like it's like, yeah, like you you like you know, you you have not accepted your sin, you have to die. Like this amount of extreme. So and <clears throat> I don't know, like, yeah, the, the, the sense of justice is weird, the ex loss. And I don't know, maybe she had something happened to her past or something that probably made her like this. Otherwise, I don't see someone becoming like this. Like, why even? Like, now I can kind of understand what the guy, the ex loss guy, the, the other guy, I, I can't remember his name, I always forget his name. Uh, that guy you know like i thought that he was the like you know crazy type of a person but <laughs> this girl here is i think like the main uh like source of everything like all the ex laws being this um, like you know amount of 
um what do you call it uh, like having this amount of conviction towards their sense of justice and yeah like it's, it's a weird thing okay one thing here that they kind of the x laws okay uh they did not translate the okay they did translate okay let's see i was unable to check that properly uh the 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 meaning behind their name okay uh laws exist to let people live and protect the peace those who break them will be convicted and punished accordingly okay the x in x laws represents 10 okay law is a, a law means law i think they did not translate the last portion he says that s was something anyway so that must be something like i i like i am unable to understand that portion like he kind of breaks it up into three parts x means tense that that's uh, like obvious enough law means law i think and what's with the s like i don't know but anyways um and they say that they, they deliver uh justice according to the 10 laws i wonder what the 10 laws are but anyways okay so according to her version of uh justice he says that uh and previously all the like you know na according to the natural order whenever someone did not listen to uh like you know like follow rules and regulations they would have like you know like they would get punished for example he she says something like the birds who did not listen to their mother got taken away by uh hawks just a sec okay they're natural and inherent okay uh, the pheasant cheek who doesn't heed his mother's word cannot sense danger and will be taken by the <laughs> hawk. Okay. The wicked bloodline of the wolf who abandons mother and cubs will end when the cub starves to death. Alright. In nature, those who break rules are in the wrong and are doomed yeah okay then then she says that but nowadays like because human society has become so complicated it doesn't work that way that's why we are the people who are going to you know yeah that's why they need laws absolute laws divinely enforced in 1700 bc this first uh, human race first laws were handed down by your god of justice much okay so yeah that's what she's saying like uh like nowadays be because things are getting complicated people are actually not getting punished for whatever wrong they're doing so that's why like we are the ex-laws and we are uh, you know punishing people in god's stead or something like that so yeah now like i still am unable to understand what the actual like why she actually killed the um, Niles because they they were just contestants here like anyways oh maybe their arrogance is the reason why yeah yeah as I said like their arrogance like they were at the beginning they were arrogant and then suddenly like you know even when uh like they say like uh what's that um John John says that uh like do you uh, realize your sin and do you accept it or something like that she says and they still don't like you know like like say like what do you call it like they still don't admit it or something like that they're still arrogant and um yeah like they still defy her so probably that's why she said that yeah you guys need need punishment you'll die like i'm guessing at that moment if they said something like yeah we understand forgive us She'll probably be like yeah okay like you can go you know you can go back or something like that she'd say but since uh yeah so basically that's that's like i as, as i said i was a bit confused 
as to why they had to die because they have not committed any sin as far as I can see but I'm guessing the sin here is that they didn't listen to her most probably that is the reason why she did that and because they think that law like they themselves are justice they themselves are lost so if they, someone doesn't listen to them they're committing a grave uh, you know uh, crime or something so that's why like they probably killed him also yeah okay and uh, <laughs> Anna is correct you know by in the end when she says that she is uh what did she actually say um where is that section so arrogant yeah like funny thing like <laughs> the, 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 she, she killed the guys because of their arrogance and she herself is so arrogant and hungry uh of what can i say like saying that yeah justice whatever i say is justice and stuff i don't know like we barely even met her so i'm sure there is some kind of reason why she's doing this and all like you know some kind of backstory or something but the initial impression is like yeah she is basically the person who believes that whatever she says is correct and is justice because just because her her spirit is shamash so she's like yeah i'm the like messenger of god or something like that she thinks most probably and uh yeah i wonder why like okay let me check one thing is shamas like a, a real god or something like, shamas yeah shamas the son of sin shamas as the solar deity exercise the power of light over darkness and evil in this capacity become known as god of justice and equity and was the judge of both gods and men babylonian king hammurabi received his code of laws from Shamas. okay that's what they were saying all right okay okay so that means um like i wonder who the guardian spirit actually is i doubt that's uh, the actual shamash i doubt that like who knows maybe i don't know so yeah i'm sure we'll get to know in the future episodes like what is the actual deal with them and uh, yeah and and the end like in the end like as yo says that i <laughs> is very correct he says that yeah I, I feel like i i myself will have to become the shaman king or else all of these crazy people will like completely <laughs> like you know like completely like um, like make the world uh, like you know uh, plunge the world into chaos oh, boy like <laughs> my god like one thing I, that i really i have to say like uh it's very unique about this show is there's no actual right or wrong in this show i can i'm, I'm kind of seeing this pattern here even the like you know the people uh, in the uh who was like like gold gold va silva you know the judges here they're also in the complete neutral position they they like you know they believe like whoever will win be it good be it, be it bad you know the one who is worthy of the power will become the shaman king it, it doesn't matter if that person is good or bad the person is worthy will become the shaman king and after that whatever he does that's on him you know however he'll choose his path so this is this like a whole like you know like they're completely neutral in that like sense like yeah and also um the what can i say all the characters here like for example how and uh, john they have like their own thing own conviction we can't call them evil you know they are evil but they're not pure evil so like this thing like i can kind of like noticing this and yo himself is one of the biggest example of being like you know uh like passive in a way and so like you know laid back and his sense of justice is so forgiving in a way so like you know like he, he's very tolerant like these things i i, I don't think I've, I've ever seen in an anime before like this like combination of so many like you know like qualities like this and it's really fascinating to see something like this like like you know where the show in itself is not the fight between good and evil it's just like you know 
uh, a weird thing. Uh, like, you know, like we don't even know who's good and who's evil here. It's just that everyone is working according to their own convictions. And, uh, out, like, you know, the result, whoever will become the Shaman King will determine whether they, like, you know, and their actions after that will determine whether they're good or evil, in a way, I don't know. So, like, yeah, like, it's very fast, like, all, like, most of the animes, like, what we see, especially shonen animes, like, more, like, most of the shonen animes, they kind of, like, you know, it's basically something like, yeah, like this guy is bad. This guy, this this team is good. We are fighting, and like you know, if the bad guys win, the world is doomed. If we win, everything will be good. Peace will come back. Like every shonen anime that I've watched, I think it's basically the fight between good and evil. Whereas, like this is the only show I think which is not like that. That's why, like you know, in the beginning. I was a, it took a little bit of time for me to actually like you know like for me to actually realize what's happening here like <laughs> like I was very thrown off by Yo's personality especially in the beginning episodes like you know where we see that he is so laid back like I myself was unable to kind of like kind of digest that because I'm so accustomed to hot-blooded shonen main characters who who are like yeah like this is justice i'll do this like you know i'll become the whatever <laughs> and like you know fight between good and evil like this is like a clear distinction whereas the, the beginning part of the show that's why i like i i was ready to like you know like watch a show in an anime and that's why like seeing yo i was very surprised and very confused and i at the beginning few episodes i really wasn't able to actually like properly <laughs> realize what type of a character he is i still am not able to in a way you know like as i said in this episode like, you know I, I kind of like sided with red instead of siding with yo because i'm still not so like you know accustomed to yo's like way of doing things but it's fascinating like uh yeah like this is probably the first shonen main character that is like so unique in a way like it's not that yeah i'll defeat the bad become the like you know i'm the good person i'll defeat the evil i'll like bring peace to the world or something like that it's not like that here so <laughs> like i'm like this very impressive i have to say like yeah like oh boy like <laughs> and it's barely the 20th episode i'm sure like more stuff like this will come in the future where they'll be like you know like i myself will be confused because like we are so accustomed to the whole like like shonen like thing like shonen um like you know like mold you know you can the whole shonen mold where it's like a same mold where with different characters like the the main theme is all the same all the uh, uh, shonen animes most of the shonen animes with different characters i'm not saying that they're bad obviously like you know i love like all the different shonen animes i love naruto i love bleach i love uh like you know like um i've not seen one piece uh so i can't say anything about that um i love uh fairy tale i kind of saw one piece a little bit but like did not continue after that because of lack of time like one piece is so long it kind of scares me to actually get into it <laughs> and um <laughs> yeah like all the other shonen animes like they, i'm not saying they're bad they're they're great i love like most of the greatest shonen animes i love them they have like each and everything i have like a special place in my heart but it's actually interesting to see something quite different in a shonen anime which is shaman king here and yeah this is fantastic and i'm really liking the character's dynamic like no no character is the same you know each and everyone has their own way of thinking about stuff and doing stuff for example we see ren who is probably like you know one of the most what can i say relatable character in a way here you know he he like you know he he, he just says stuff like yeah this is wrong you should not do this this is like, as, as he said here like you know like that's like not something that you should do it will be too late when uh like you know uh you'll regret it when it'll be too late like that that's ren you know realist in a way you can call him and yo who is very much um what can i say as i said forgiving very much tolerant towards friends has huge belief in their friends and in a way he is like very neutral you know like i'm sure like if, if a bad guy comes and says that yo like you know i did so many bad things but you know what i understood my wrong you know 
can I join you, your team? I'm sure you will be like, okay, you know, like you, you have understood your like faults and everything. If you promise me that you won't do anything like this, you're welcome to join us. He'll be like that. I'm sure of it in a way. Like he's someone like that. He believes in the good in people. That's yo. He believes in the good in people, however evil they are. And I'm not so sure about how still, as I said, like, you know, we need more information about him. Jan, we see, like, you know, like, like her justice, he has, she has her own sense of justice. So, like, so many different characters. Anna, who is kind of like Ren in a way, like, you know, very blunt, very, like, you know, to the point. And, like, you know, like, has so much belief in uh, Yo. And, like, that's Anna. So, so many characters, so many different type of personalities. And, yeah, like, great. So, all right. Okay, anyways, so yeah, I guess that was it. Um, let me check if there's anything else that I missed. No, I think that was it here. Yeah. I'm really looking for, I'm, I'm, I, th I don't know like if, if they're going to fight like uh, Yo and Anna. Uh, not Anna, sorry. <laughs> Why the hell did I say Anna? <laughs> Jan. You know, Yo and Jan. I don't know if they're going to fight, but if they do fight, I am very interested in watching it. You know, it will be very interesting to see that their sense, like both of them have very different sense of justice. And it will be very interesting to see the clash between them. You know, that's like, you know, clashing determination, the clash in doing stuff. I don't know if they'll have a match. I hope so, at least like your steam versus. Yeah, it might, it will happen probably in the future because <laughs> Ryu is here and Lyserg is here. Like I'm sure that like, they'll have to fight, like you know, each other. So yeah, okay. So yeah, like it, it might happen. So I'm really like you know interested in seeing that match because it'll be great to see actually the clash in convictions, the clash in ideals, and uh, what ultimate result will come out of it. I am really excited for that. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Shaman King epi uh, episode number 21. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.